puzzles are very special. First of all, they represent the family of unstructured problems. You have some general descriptions and you would see some of them in a few minutes and you are on your own. You have to reason, you have to arrive at the solution. In a sense, you are forced to think out of the box. Additional beautiful property of puzzles are that usually they don't uh, belong to any textbook or they don't belong to any chapter of any text. My favorite example to illustrate this point is the following. Imagine that you are uh, looking at a chocolate bar and most chocolate bars are organized in a particular way. You have columns and rows and you have these individual rectangles. And let's say visitors are coming to your place and your task is to break this chocolate bar into individual pieces. And the question is, what is the most efficient or let's say optimal strategy of making the sequence of breaks to achieve your final goal? With minimum number of breaks, you would like to separate all these rectangles. Would you start vertically? Would you start horizontally? Would you start in the middle? Would you start on the side? What would be the best strategy to achieve your final goal with minimum number of breaks? I would like to assume that some of you at least don't know the answer for this question. You don't know the optimal strategy, but this is not my point. My question is, which book would you select to find the answer for this problem? Would you select book on optimization, or games, or strategies, or simulation? Or it might be that someone, someone wrote a book on chocolates in chapter 7, there is discussion how to break it. Very unlikely. But this is precisely my point. You have a puzzle, like real-world problem, and no one would tell you, go to this and that book in chapter 3, you have full discussion how to solve this problem. On the top of everything, puzzles illustrate many powerful and uh, general problem-solving techniques. They indicate importance of science and on the top of everything they are fun and easy to remember. And this is also a very important uh, component. Later, if you like puzzles, you would like to be a hero in your environment, you would like to tease your friends with some puzzles, but if you do, you better remember the solution. And you better remember how you arrive at the solution, so basically you remember a particular technique for problem solving, so it would stay with you for life. It is like a good joke. You like the joke, you like to entertain, so you, you remember it. The same goes with puzzles. Additional uh, the argument I would like to display is the following. Probably most of you know this uh, very famous puzzle. You have a farmer with three items. You have wolf, goat, and some cabbage. You have tiny boat. You have to move all these three items on the other side of the river. And of course, you have some constraints. If you take cabbage with you, um, then you leave wolf and goat unattended with obvious result. And if you take the wolf with you, then again, leaving goat and cabbage unattended is very bad. So only when farmer is uh, with them, it, it, he can prevent the d disaster. And the question is how this can be done. Which items should be taken to the boat and delivered on the other side and so on. You can take this puzzle actually to elementary school. If you have a kid between 7 and 11, eight, uh, then uh, this probably the, the puzzle can be solved in 5 to 10 minutes. But this is not the point. Very few people know that this puzzle was published in the 8th century, many, many years ago, by English scholar. And this puzzle was one of 50 puzzles published in this volume. And this puzzle today is used in a variety of artificial intelligence textbook to illustrate how people reason, what steps do we follow, and so on. So in a sense also, what I am saying is that I didn't develop or I didn't invent anything new. These ideas that we can use puzzle to sharpen the young or to teach some audience how to look at the problems, how to solve them, how to, how to approach them, is really as long as uh, or old as a human race. So the main learning objective is the following. 
On one hand, all of us, uh, we are after solving problems, and problems of uh, very high complexity, integrated supply chain optimization, simulation, this and that. On the other hand, we would like to arrive at the solution. And the whole uh, course or methodology, which is based on puzzle-based learning, illustrates how to look at different components of the problem, how to recognize this optimization, modeling, simulation, constraints, probabilistic components, and how to make the first few steps which would allow you to look at problems in a meaningful way.